My next story is not a case really. It's a story of passion. It had been long since I met my my old school friend Nikhil over a drink. I met him over a drink. It was it was going wonderful until he started telling me about his wife. He said things were very good with his wife for the for the one year that he had been in the marriage, but the past few months she had changed. Changed for the better, he said. He said she had become more exciting in bed. She started enjoying all the things that she didn't enjoy earlier. Like she never touched alcohol, and of late she'd been enjoying her drinks to the tea. These were things that were that were see seeming like like good changes. I wanted to tell him that there's nothing to worry about. It's absolutely all right. But he kept insisting that something was wrong. Something was, had changed. Something had had happened to his wife. I said, all right, I'll look into it. I asked him. I, I took permission from him. I said, "Can I meet your wife without you being present at some point?" He said it was all right. I took her number. I called her. I told her I needed to see her over lunch. I was an old friend, and I wanted to catch up with her. She agreed. I met her over a, a lazy lunch. We were talking about life in general. I knew I had to do something that was out of the box, that was unexpected. I threw a question at her. I asked her how she was doing post uh, her abortion. She looked at me straight in my eyes and said, "I'm all right. It was hard in the in the beginning, but I'm all right now." I called my my friend Nikhil in the evening. He told me there had been no abortion. I knew I was on the right track. The next day, I called her to the police station. I told her I needed to speak to her. I asked her. I I didn't ask her. I, I told her that there had been no abortion. She was shocked at first. Her immediate reaction was, "What's got to do with you?" I told her I was a cop. I also told her that my my female comrades were much tougher than me. They weren't even her friends. That's when she broke. She broke. She said she'd done something wrong. I don't know what she was saying, what she meant. I felt. Her need for wanting sympathy in that moment. She needed a pair of ears to to listen to her, and I did listen. The first thing she told me was that she wasn't Sonia; she was a twin sister, Sanya. They were identical twins, she said. But Sanya was always the black sheep, and Sonia was the the favorite between the pair. So, Sonia genuinely was getting better treatment from. Everyone Sanya knew. That didn't affect her much either, until the time that Sanya fell in love with a man, only to realize that he was in love with Sonia. Things didn't work out between Sonia and the man, and he left. That became a big bone of contention between the sisters. A few years later, when they were planning marriage, we wanted the sisters to get married. They called over a family friend, a young boy who was studying in abroad. The usual happened. The man chose Sonia. The man, of course, being Nick. Sonia knew that she had to do something. She wanted to take revenge. She had to. She had to prove to the world that she was, she was more successful. She was better, but she couldn't. She wasn't. She. So she started to make a plan. The plan was to become Sonia. She let Sonia get married. Was part of the wedding. It was all happy. She started spending a lot of time with Sonia after her wedding. They were having a chilled out lunch and they were talking they were discussing life in general laughing What Sonia didn't know was that her her drinks were laced Sonia had been putting some really potent stuff in her drinks Soon Sonia passed out Sonia quickly exchanged clothes identity cards cell phones purses everything When Sonia was gaining consciousness 
she walked Sonia down into her own car, put her there, drove her to one spot, put alcohol on her, and put the car on fire. In the eyes of the world, the wicked Sonia had died. Died in a freak accident where she was drinking and driving and the car caught fire or something. The real Sonia had become Sonia. This was an inch-perfect plan and this could have gone on all their lives. Had it not been for Nikhil who had come and told me about this, this weird thing that he was feeling. Today, Sanya is serving time for fraud and murder. There's not much hope for her. Though it's interesting what she said while she was being taken away. She said, she smiled and she said, some things just don't change, do they? Nikhil is distraught. Nikhil doesn't know what to do. His friend revealed the mystery, but I'll never be able to tell if I did the right thing or not. Life could have gone on, things would have been happy. Sanya had a chance at redemption. But welcome to a cop's life. That's what my grandfather used to say. He used to say, the truth, my son, is way more fucked up than fiction. True it is.